like now what I spend most of my time on is calibrating what I know people are gonna do, but trying to figure out the timing. What is the uh, practicality of timing? Well, let's start off this episode properly. Happy birthday, Misha. I love you so much. Seven years old, I can't believe it. Time flies, my little princess. Hope you have the best day. Yo. Yo, sir. Yo. And then like, we gotta figure out a room in the house to like put some of this stuff. Boy, do I love the house. Yeah. It's the best. All right, what's going on? Where's my team? Andy, Zach. I really wanna talk about video, Andy. The share bear is not being implemented in edits, so for you two, I don't care how much you hate it, it's learnings for me. I don't care if it, like, you've got the hippest fucking, it's like dirt fucking street hip hop and then that fucking bear comes in the last 13 seconds. It makes no sense. Guys, I'm telling you right now, like, here's the funny part. You have to listen to me, not the other way around. So sometimes, sometimes you guys feel like you can sneak through some liberties and you think you're doing your own thing and I find it very cute and I laugh and I'm like, oh, that's nice and all that. But then I can get mad too and so on that, I want the fucking share bear in every video that comes out for the next month. I just want to see it. Guys, this is Jordan. Hey, how's it going, guys? Nice to meet you. Jordan's mic. You got it easy. Say hello, meet everybody. One by one. Stefan, good. Zach, Zach, good. Andy, good. Brittany, great. Andrew, good. Okay, good. D Rock. All right, now Jordan, run it back. I'm Gary. Run it back. Good. It's okay. It's okay. I suck at this. Zach, Andy. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> Zach, Andy. Brittany. Brittany. <laughs> That's okay. Andrew. Andrew. D Rock. Rock. All right. Let's. Zach, Andy. Brittany. Andrew. D Rock. Good. So, Mike. What's up? Hi. I was just watching you on vlog yesterday. Is that right? Yeah, man. How are you? I'm real good, man. What's your name? Jamel. Jamel. Nice yeah, to meet nice you, man. Nice to play. I said, yo, but I'm always walking around the city. I'm like, yo, one day I'm going to run into you, man. <laughs> Today's the day. I'll be seeing you around Times Square. I mean, yep. That's great. It's a real pleasure, man. Like I wish you well. Thank you. Like you the hat. She's just like, it's hard to get too high for presents when you just, you get a lot of them. Oh, right? gotcha. Like, I used to like freak for like one wrestling figure, you know, for like yeah. a month. Just different. We run into that sometimes. Just hard, you know, yeah. like, you can't fake environment. You just can't. You can't artificially fake it, you know? Good time with you. Oh, was, yeah, and that'll be like, but that's more foundational subconscious stuff that's later on, you know? Yeah. She doesn't. She'll only realize what you're yeah. up to as an adult or a yeah. yeah. Open the window. <laughs> Yo! Back to work. You guys working? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what's going on? So we are on our way to the Make Future Food competition. And so for two hours we're going to sit there and have teams pitch us. Yep, so teams are going to pitch you and then each judge is going to have the opportunity to ask questions immediately after that team's pitch before going on to the next team. Excited to see the teams. I like this format. It'll be fun to see what they... Uh, they bring to the table. Have you heard of any of the companies? I, I always, every time I do this kind of stuff, I go in very blind. Because I feel like, I feel like my, I never want preconceived notions. I want to be fair to the teams. Yeah. I, uh, believe my, I believe in the pitch. I'm also usually find my like first reactions are always better. So I, I go in, I have no idea. I don't know anything. When you do the jumping jacks, how does Ava know that you did them? The technology element? Is it an app or? Yes. When, when you say we, what is the team? But everybody ha potentially has that infrastructure now, right? You're far more likely to be discovered if you wrote your article on you know, environmental impacts on obesity, both in childhood and, and in the workplace, on Medium, than if you did it on your own blog, because nobody knows your own blog exists. Have you guys thought about making it a Slack bot first? Um, hmm. that's, that's a great idea. Thank you. <laughs> 
Thanks for your time. Um, the, the thing that I think really stands out for me as this collective group, and I, I think it's a, something I believe in tremendously, is I think way too many people spend way too much time on their shortcomings or the things that if they think they're gonna be weak at. I think this collective group, as I sum it up as a unit, uh, what, what's very obvious to me is for you guys to triple down on your strengths. When I look at all, you know, when I think about Picnic, when you're lucky enough to have a business that has happiness at its core, like there's a lot of things you could be doing, but quadrupling down on that is something I think all of us need. And I think all of you, if you look at it, you break down from your backgrounds or your day jobs right now, have a core strength. And I think you get a lot of advice from a lot of people and all the things you're not. And I think um, when you really look at the companies that are succeeding, they close all that noise out and they quadruple, go all the way down on their tech strengths, on their understanding. So uh, that's what I would say. Thank you so Congrats. much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. Big Real pleasure. You. Thank I've you. Met you. A couple of years ago, though. Hey. Hey. I am Maylon. I'm Maylon. One of Navi's people. How are you? Cool. Awesome, man. Continued you success, much. brother. Thank Hopefully, run into each other again. Marcus, I got to run. I want to say thank you. Good to see you, brother. I'll talk to you soon. You're headed back to the office. Okay. You know, expand a little bit on the uh, what you saw in there about the timing thing. I'm very fascinated by that. Now what I spend most of my time on is calibrating what I know people are gonna do, but trying to figure out the timing. It's just, it's, it's predicting behavior and predicting its timing and hitting that cross section, and that is extremely difficult. And that's why the people that do it tremendously win and get movies made about them and make lots of money and like live their dream because it's that rare to actually know that. I think so many people have great ideas but they so lack the ability to understand consumer behavior and the macro trends and what's happening in society. Timing is everything. Timing is, you know, you hear that all the time and of course, like every absolute standpoint, like hustle is everything, like talent is everything, like everything's everything until you realize using a food analogy, it's if you're a great chef, you can take all the ingredients and make something great. It'd be great if all the ingredients were fresher, better, you know, higher quality. But if you're a great chef, you can even take second and third tier uh, foods and make a better meal than somebody who was given all those great ingredients. So of course talent and timing and intuition and, and, and hustle and all those things are imperative but everything's imperative. Um, you know, they're all a mix. There's so many variables in success, um, but timing happens to be one of them. One of them that I don't talk a whole lot about, so it was fun to kind of uh, jam on that a little bit. As I'm sitting here thinking about it, it, uh, it really makes this whole journey of Daily be super worth it to me, right? Like, here we are, episode 40. I believe the timing is important. I've learned from timing, but with all the keynotes, with all the articles, with you following me around for 40 days worth of content now, here it is. And, and that to me in a weird way is why I have ambition and, and hopes and dreams for Daily V because I recognize how many things are deeply in here that don't populate, that they go through ebbs and flows, that hustle becomes a thing, self-awareness has become a thing lately, right? Patience becomes a thing. But what are the seven to 12, 15, 29 other things that are deeply ingrained in here that I take for granted that I haven't been able to figure out how to populate from there to here, to there, to here. Um, that's, a, that's a challenge and a journey that I'm uh, excited to continue. What is the uh, practicality of timing? Well, I mean, that goes, into, that goes into the talent of recognizing moments, you know? And that's so challenging. Like, I don't know how to like, I don't know how to like teach people to seize the moment when they see a white space. I believe the Facebook video is, you know, under uh, underused by most, so we have a meeting today, I'm like, let's go, like, let's go. We need to pump out micro fucking one, two minute videos, two, three a day on Facebook, we will win. It is working, it works. My ability my to, to recognize things that are about to happen, um, it, you know, is no different than, than a filmmaker who knows how to make the movies, he or she knows how to make the movies of the time, right, or, or music, like who were the people that understood that hip hop or EDM was about to pop or talent agents who were like, you're a superstar. There's, there's a intangible that is very difficult to articulate on why I understand 
that people are gonna be all in on Snapchat. I think about the things that I know that you're going to do that you think you're not. And you don't think that you're gonna be on Snapchat and I know you're going to be. I just, I can't articulate it other than the radar goes off and, uh, and I'm starting to learn that I gotta be more aggressive when the radar goes off and go harder, stronger, meaner. Um, and that's that.